Hello, my name is Justin Woolwich from Woolwich Racing. As promised, I thought I'd do a short video up to uh, show some of the functionality within the Woolwich Racing Tune software, uh, specifically um, applicable to the Kawasaki bin files that are being released currently. Uh, so, to create a new bin file, you go to the new menu, choose the manufacturer, the model, the year, and the ECU part number. In this instance, I'm choosing the Kawasaki ZX14R 2012-2013 and the uh, 0714 uh, ECU part number. You'll see down the bottom it's got some information around that as well and in this instance uh, that particular ECU is the US ECU. You can also go to the open menu and choose a previously saved bin file. So I'll do that right now. So in this column here we have the options that give you uh, access to the various things that have been defined for this bin file. I'll click on uh, the various options and go through them to give you a bit of a flavor of what's available. So if I click on the fuel maps it pulls up the fuel map editor window. At the top here we've got some editing controls that allow you to add percentage to the map. Uh, you can also set it to add a, a fixed value to the map. You can add or subtract, copy, paste uh, the next row down has uh, settings controlling which particular map you're viewing currently. So the, the first map that we've pulled up here is the IAP map. The mode is in the, the low power mode. There's also the full power mode as well. You've got uh, the group, so you've got lower injector and upper in injector control. And you've also got access to the four cylinder maps. There's a, a 3D option, so you can view the fuel map in a 3D option. You can spin it around, look at it in different different ways and as you go through and change the options here you'll see the map update to reflect the current map okay so it's quite easy to edit the maps in the fuel map editor and across all of the editors the functionality is very consistent you can choose one cell or drag and drag and drop for for many cells and if you want to add say 5% to the selected cells you just click the add button and we'll see that they've gone a, a pale blue color which indicates that you've added fuel to them. In this display at the top here you'll see that uh, percentages have been added to those cells to increase the values. So the IAP maps are a pressure differential map which are used for low throttle settings so when the throttle is about under 10% uh, the IAP value is a differential between the manifold pressure and the atmospheric pressure. The other maps are for throttle above about 10% um, and uh, they basically have the throttle position across the top axis and the RPM down the, the left hand axis. axis. Um, same editing functionality, select, select the cells and add or subtract fuel from them. Once again you have uh, the various map modes, low power, full power, upper injector, lower injector and the cylinders. Ignition maps, very similar sort of concept. Got the controls across the top to add or subtract values from the map to the selected cells. Got the map mode, low power or full power. We've got the group being neutral or gears one to six, and we've got the various cylinder maps. So if you have a look in the 3D map, that's your ignition map for the ZX14 for the low power neutral. So if we go to full power and the gear map, that's the, the ignition map for cylinder one. We can go back to the 3D graph and we can make changes quite easily. You can also use the keyboard. Um, if you press the numbers uh, one through naught it gives you one percent up to ten percent adding just by clicking it. You can see there I've just added ten percent and if you press the control key and press one to zero it will subtract that amount from the, the cells. So I've just subtracted ten percent from these cells and it goes a red color we go to 3D graph you can see that's where I've added those the 10% in there you can also make edits in the 3D graph by you'll see there's a little uh, yellow ball over a particular cell element you can hold down the control key and you can drag and drop in the 3D graph to increase or decrease the value of that particular item so if we go now to the other map section we've got um, once again some sort of form layout the, uh, the other maps that are defined currently for the ZX14 are the um, secondary throttle plate opening maps. Uh, this defines how much the secondary throttles open. Um, 
we have a look at the 3D graph, you'll see the map. So basically across the top we've got the throttle position from 1.2 up to 100 and you've got the RPM down the left hand axis. Um, it's quite evident in this in the low power mode that they're using the secondary throttle plates to restrict the power in that once you get up into higher RPM and higher throttle settings you'll see this value set at 50 which means the secondary throttles are only opening to 50 percent if we go over to the full power mode you'll see that these values go up to 100 in here indicating the secondary throttles are, are fully open in, in these this range around here the other uh, the other maps that are available is the fuel trim map in here uh, which allows you to trim fuel uh, based on the gear selected. <coughs> Another section that's available is a limiter section. Within this for the ZX14 we've got the neutral RPM limiter. Quite simple to edit. Just click on the little buttons to increase the or decrease the neutral RPM limiter and the same for the gear limiter. You can increase that. Um, there's also a top limiter, um, top speed limiter. Uh, it's currently selected which is the default it's selected for a new bin file but if I unselect that it removes the top speed limiter. There's also an, an advanced setting set for this model which is the O2 sensor so for the European models you can disable that. Now when we're editing the fuel maps uh, there's there's quite a few maps to edit if you were to uh, to, to try and update your fuel maps in that you've got the, the four cylinder maps what we can do is we can unify the cylinder maps which makes it much easier to edit the fuel and ignition maps in that instead of having to edit each individual cylinder you can just edit the, the map for the specific uh, fuel map type mode and group so to do that you go to the file menu bin file configuration unify cylinder fuel maps and probably the best option to choose is maintain cylinder offset and I'll also do that for the ignition maps and we'll go and have a look what that actually does we click OK we go back into the fuel maps you'll see that you don't have the cylinder option here so if you come in here and make an edit it will apply that across all four cylinder maps uh, makes it much easier when you're making adjustments in that you don't have to go to each cylinder map and update them same thing applies for the ignition maps in that I unify those as well so you no longer have the cylinder option in there it's just applies the same changes across the cylinders so that's a bit of an overview of uh, the functionality available once you have made the changes to the particular bin file it's a good idea to change it uh, to save it sorry um, give it a name save it and then uh, when you want to uh, write the changes to the ECU you basically connect the Mitsubishi USB interface to the ECU and you uh, power up the ECU and click the right ECU button and that will take the bin file and all the edits that you have made and write them to the ECU. Okay so I think that's all I really wanted to cover off just give you a, a bit of an overview of how simple it is to, to edit different settings within the, the software um, and if you have any questions by all means uh, get in contact and uh, we'll see what we can do to answer those questions.